So now you have a very organized mind of your tools. There is not a special format. Even paint the same subject, even at the same stages, you can use any type of brushes for your work. Here I'm going to do a small demonstration just to show you what brushes we are going to use in this demonstration. I actually don't know. I'll just do it when I paint it. Okay, and I'll explain from the perspective of quality of edges, help you to know what brushes that you can use in your paintings. The first thing I want to talk about is the size of your brushes. Just like in traditional painting, the beginning stage we usually use the bigger size of brushes okay, to get the general, the whole thing, of the whole picture. I'm picking some big textural brushes. I'm just mixing them and to give them a background and you can just have fun you know, to explore. And you can see what brush I'm using, okay? Okay, give a basic tone. Because of, we are going to talk about the edges, so I put also put some examples by side. I will explain them why we need to, okay? Okay, pair. This one is pretty thick.
basically at this stage you can use any general painting brushes to settle your object settle the thing on your canvas you know just a, a sketching stage This one, I'm, this brush I'm using, it's a pretty thick, um, very very wet, and you know, very wet brush. This one you pretty much can build up a simple shape of your pair. Again, you can use any brush that we introduced around here, okay? Around here. It's all good, it's all cool. Like, we can change one of... Uh, I'm trying to use... Uh, okay, we can change a little bit. Not that thick. This one's not that thick for the light area. Can get
this one that I mentioned. Let's uh, get this uh, outline. Okay, this one, do some soft blending around the mascara shadow. Now I'm using this uh, kind of little bit transparent flat brush. You might find uh, useful this episode after you also uh, learned the, our episode 2 about tone and lighting and simplify. I feel like there's some little textures of this pair here. Let me move this uh, reference by here. Okay. Can you see some textures? around here is a pair itself I feel like might uh, might we can add in some texture brush right now
There's actually a lot of details in even one pair. Sometimes simple things say hard to paint, right? Even a pair has a lot of personalities.
picked this uh, pair. When I prepared this episode, I just saw this pair. I think that would be cool to just do a demonstration. I didn't plan on demonstration. I was like just get some examples and uh, give you guys some introduction of my brushes. But I wanted to do a little demonstration that you can actually see, you know, what brushes I'm using. Uh, as being said, every time is different. Okay, just the moment I pick this brush doesn't mean like you have to do this the same way that I do. Um, the point is to understand all those brushes and go try by your own. You know, there's some points I still want to clarify in this episode. Um, in order to sculpt a form, you have to use your brush to blend and render, right? So here we're going to starting from the perspective of quality of edges. You are going to continue to.